At 6.30, the cyber attack on the Colonial Pipeline has brought renewed attention to the security of our most essential services. Fox 46 Chief Legal Correspondent Seema Iyer takes a look at how the safety of our power grid compares to our pipelines. Long before the ransomware attack to Colonial Pipeline, researchers at UNC Charlotte have been investigating the cybersecurity of another type of critical infrastructure, the power grid. There's a lot greater vulnerability than there might have been, you know, 20 years ago. In conjunction with the Carolinas' leading electric provider, Duke Energy. We are an essential service. We are a critical infrastructure, so that does make us a target. Dr. Robert Cox, the associate director of UNCC's Energy Production and Infrastructure Center, shows us the industrial computers that house the potential harm. The biggest threat that utilities deal with is the threat to those types of systems. The email, it could be, um, you know, something that's been downloaded onto a computer, something that gets in through the network. It could be one of the other threats that we talk about a lot is the supply chain. More technology requires more parts coming from more places, thus the possibility of more danger. It could be that there's a, a malicious actor overseas somehow gets a chip into the device and then ultimately that device can be compromised through that chip that's inside of it. I asked Jeff Brooks of Duke Energy whether they've ever been victim to a cyber attack. We don't provide specifics on our day-to-day -day, uh, interactions with, with uh, cyber activity, and, and there's a lot of details I can't speak to specifically for, for just security reasons. Dr. Cox couldn't identify a specific cyber attack on a utility company in the U.S., however... There were threats, yeah. Yeah, there, there were attempts to, to get in. So as the power grid keeps strengthening its systems, we're opening ourselves up to a lot of potential vulnerability as a result of that. Security stays top of mind, all in an effort to keep the lights on. Seema Iyer, Fox 46.